Hello, I'm Dr. Abhishek De. I'm consultant dermatologist of Wisdom Skin Care Clinic. I'm also the associate editor of Indian Journal of Dermatology. Today, we're going to talk about a lot of myths about hair fall. Now, a lot of people come to us uh, having a complaint that they have just shifted to a place where the water quality is not good and that is leading to hair fall. Uh, it is possibly not true because water quality has less impact on your hair fall. It can have little problem with your hair textures but it actually cannot cause your hair fall. Maybe the patient has shifted to a place where the nutrition has uh, habit has changed. Maybe the patient has put on weight or certain other factors is there uh, that is leading to hair fall. But water quality, iron or hardened water that cannot lead to hair fall for sure. Uh, there are other complaints patient comes with like they have a uh, uh, they are using certain shampoos they are changing the shampoos and suddenly the hair uh, starts falling now you have to believe that no matter whatever the advertisement is saying shampoo are only good for cleansing no matter whatever you put in your shampoo that may help in your conditioning part of it and the cleansing part of it but it cannot cause hair fall neither it can prevent hair fall so use a gentle shampoo uh, if you are going out uh, regularly if you are living in a polluted city then you may have to even have a daily shampooing but whatever hair falls after a shampoo the hair would have been already falling it's just while during the shampoo it's falling together so we are having a stress on that so do not get panic with a change of uh, hair fall with a change of shampoo you see whether the shampoo is shooting to you if it's shooting then you continue with the shampoo otherwise there are other cause of hair fall people use a lot of oil on their scalp now this is some habit which can lead to seborrhea which is that dandruff like situation there are a lot of uh, fungal elements which grows in that oil and that can cause to a lot of inflammation in your hair roots and that can lead to hair fall so be careful do not use too much of oil in your scalp you can always use a conditioner or oil in your hair length but avoid using oil or hair in your scalp what is most important and people usually ignore is their diet habits and their exercise pattern you have to understand that hair uh, growth is very much interlinked with your hormonal quality and also with your uh, nutritional habits so have a very good quality of diet which is rich in fruits and vegetables mixed uh, diet which should have animal proteins also this kind of diets has a lesser chance of bad hair fall but sometimes we also get sick like people have some fever or uh, typhoid this can lead to uh, temporary hair loss this is called telogen effluvium no need to panic on this because usually this kind of hair fall lasts for few weeks and then automatically reverts it's not reverting then go to a dermatologist get yourself treated however you always expect little bit of hair always falling from your scalp if it's on excessive if the hair quality is really bad is thinning out then it's a time to show you a dermatologist hope this video has helped you if you want to know further if you have to contact us please click the link below